cruise news time, and we've got a cruise port out there celebrating its 10 millionth passenger. We also have another cruise line out there celebrating that its entire fleet can plug into shore power. We have another cruise line out there offering $49 cruises for people who are teachers and a rivalry as old as time is playing out on the high seas. It's a battle of the cruises. Jock Cruise versus Nerd Cruise. Phil Wedgie coming on. Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face. And we've got a few interesting cruise news stories for you today. The very first one up is the cruise port of Victoria, British Columbia, is celebrating their 10 millionth cruise passenger. Two couples who disembarked the Queen Elizabeth cruise ship on August the 16th, 2023, were honored as the 10 millionth cruise passengers there in Victoria. Cruise tourism accounts for about $40 million of economic infusion into that community every year. And Victoria certainly is familiar to many who have cruised to Alaska from Seattle. I was just in Victoria this year, beautiful cruise stop. Congratulations, Victoria. Congratulations to the people identified as the 10 millionth passenger. Here's the 10 millionth more. Have you been to Victoria? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two also involves Cunard's Queen Elizabeth cruise ship. Big announcement coming out of Cunard that all of their fleet, their entire fleet, now has the capability to plug into shore power. And not to overhype it, that's just three ships. But when the fourth ship for Cunard comes online next year, the Queen Anne, it will also be ready for shore power. And the Shore Power Initiative is one of the ways that Cunard is showing their commitment to environmental concerns. And if you're unfamiliar with Shore Power and how it impacts the cruise business, what happens is there are a couple options for cruise ships when they are in port, when they're in their embarkation, debarkation port, or a port of call. When they are docked there, they can get power two ways. They can run their engines, which throws a lot of smoke in the sky around the city. Or if they are equipped, they can plug into the power grid and run off of electricity, drastically cutting down the emissions of the cruise ship while it is in port. Shore power is considered the more environmentally favorable option of the two. And you see more and more cruise lines outfitting their cruise ships to plug into the power grid. And of course, that's why this is a story because Cunard able to say that their entire fleet is able to use shore power. Kudos to you, Cunard the environment thanks ye cruise news story number three question for ye are you a teacher if you are a teacher you have the opportunity to go on a 49 dollar cruise from now until august the 28th 2023 if you are a teacher a support person an employee if you're working in education i'm sure you have to verify this through the cruise line you can get yourself one of them 49 dollars cruises and this will be on the margaritaville at sea paradise cruise ship these are short cruises from the port of palm beach in south florida to the Bahamas. This offer is part of Margaritaville's at Seas Heroes program, which also includes US military service personnel, police, fire, EMS personnel, and government healthcare workers. They use a verification system called GovX. And so if you meet any of the qualifications for this program and you wanna take a $49 cruise, make sure you reach out to Margaritaville at Sea before the 28th of August. How about that? Now, we got to choose sides in this battle of the cruises, jocks versus nerds. But before we do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything going on in uh, ca 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 cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. It doesn't cost anything. The buttons are right below there. All it does is let YouTube notify you when a new show comes out. And it, uh, well, it makes my heart warm. So if you want to warm an old man's heart in a uh, virtual non-creepy way, uh, <laughs> subscribe. Um, that came off creepy, didn't it? Uh, okay, uh, Battle of the Cruises. We've got jocks versus nerds. We've got a couple theme cruises out. Let me tell you first 
about the one for the hockey team down there in Tampa. The cruise is called Bolts on Board. It will be hosted on the NCLJ. The dates are January the 12th through January the 16th, 2024. And it's going out of Tampa, going to Key West and Great Stirrup Key. There's going to be some famous hockey players on board. Dave Andrichuk, Brian Bradley, Phil Esposito, Brad Lukovic, and Andre Waugh. And well, the thing to me that is most exciting about this cruise is there's also going to be a Stanley Cup party in Key West, Florida. From what I'm reading, it seems like they're going to carry the Stanley Cup down Duval Street for photo opportunities for people that are on the cruise. That's That seems pretty wild, and uh, it seems apropos for the Stanley Cup. So if you are a hockey fan, a hockey jock, this does seem like the cruise for you. Now let's contrast that with a cruise a little bit more on the nerdy style, a cruise that you might actually disappear on, the Magic Castle. Do you know what the Magic Castle is? This is an exclusive club in Los Angeles, California, where magicians come and do magic shows essentially for other magicians. Like you have to be invited to get in there. You have to wear a tuxedo or formal dress to go to one of these shows. It's very exclusive. You just can't go into the Magic Castle, but they're now hosting their own Magic Castle cruise that is open to everybody. Now this Magic Castle cruise is called the Magic Castle's Conjurer Cruise. It's going to be on the Discovery Princess, and it's happening pretty soon, October the 7th to October the 14th, 2023. The cruise will start in California, do a couple other Californian, a couple other Californian stops in San Francisco and San Diego, and then it will also have to do its obligatory out of the United States stop. It will be in Ensenada in Mexico, and it will feature some pretty cool events, magic workshops, magic shows, the history of the Magic Castle presentation, a Magic Castle cocktail hour. And look, I won't hide it. I've always wanted to go to the Magic Castle. This does seem like a pretty cool cruise to me. But at the same time, so does the hockey cruise. I really thought I would end the show playing up the whole jocks versus nerds rivalry. But instead, I think I will quote Brian Johnson, who wrote the essay for The Breakfast Club. In a simple response to Mr. Vernon's question of who they think they are, Brian Johnson summed it up perfectly in this way. What we found out is that each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket case, a princess and a criminal. Does that answer your question? I think it does, Brian Johnson, especially in today's society when we try to label ourselves and try to label each other and we try to oppose each other based on those labels. I think your message that points back to the simple fact that we're all human beings that really transcend all the labels we try to put on ourselves and others and that at our core, if we can connect on our humanity, well, at the end of the day, we're just one big breakfast club. Yeah. Uh, uh, which cruise would you go on? Does that make you a jock or a nerd? Uh, leave a comment below. Boom. That's your cruise news. I sure hope you liked it. If you did, you can show your support by hitting the like button. And unfortunately, if you don't hit the like button, I will be forced to punish you. And your punishment will be this. You will be assigned to make an elephant lamp. And when you pull the trunk on your elephant lamp, well, the light won't go on and you'll consider taking extreme measures in your life. And well, nobody wants that. Hit the like button, pull the trunk, the light comes on. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. And until the next time, We'll see you on the Lido.